As we near the end of our Force 5 retrospective, we take a look at the last giant robot in the series. Not to be outdone, this mecha is truly the beast of them all. Today, we remember Guy King. So, what is Guy King about? Well, Guy King is a is a story of um, <laughs> I know this is like a broken record. It is the story of an invading alien force from somewhere in the galaxy. Uh, they're called the Zala, and um, unlike the other forces that are invading Earth, the Zala's planet is actually about to be destroyed. Uh, it's about to be enveloped by a black hole. So. In desperation, the only thing that they can think of to preserve their race is actually to take over the, the Earth. Humans were able to find out that the Zell are coming. And what they do, they actually develop a new technology called the Gai King uh, Super Dragon. It's typical Japanese, uh, they create this gigantic robotic dragon, which is used to uh, battle these, uh, these alien forces that are coming in. <clears throat> but in typical uh, Japanese fashion, the dragon itself cannot defend itself. It actually needs a defender of its own, a smaller robot, which is smaller than it, but actually has more, more power as a fighting force. Kind of like the way uh, um, an aircraft carrier can't really defend itself well, it actually needs its aircrafts to buzz around and, and you know, uh, destroy the oncoming uh, other fighters that are coming in. So the Gai King's robot is actually the head of the, the Gai King's dragon, and, uh, which is, it uses it as its torso, and then three other vehicles actually combine to actually create the Guy King as a robot. It's a really unique design in terms of um, mecha. I've never actually seen anything quite like it. Uh, the closest thing I've ever seen to like uh, some sort of like um, beast head form is something like um, Gao Gaigar, where it has a, a robotic, uh, a lion's head. But the very first one that I remember seeing uh, is definitely Guy King. <clears throat> now, Guy King is unique in that Glow can fight as a robot, it can defend itself in the, in, in the fact that it actually enters what it calls a defense mode, where it literally um, rotates itself from head to toe, and it's it, it's it has it creates basically a, a, a gigantic shield around itself using its horns and its other defenses, but it can't do anything um, uh, offensively, which is why the Guy King robot goes out and does its thing. So the pilot of the Guy King. His name is, uh, in the American version, is Ares Astronopolis. So um, we have our first Greek hero in the mythos of, of great Greek heroes uh, fighting for, uh, for Earth. And he pilots the Guy King robot. Uh, in the first episode, quite literally, they send this poor guy out in the, in, the, in the Guy King robot. And then, when he gets into trouble, the stupid robot, uh, the stupid dragon robot, curls up into a ball and then the, 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 the commander of the ship says, No, you can't come back. You have to defend the ship, and we have to stay here. And, and yeah, we're basically uh, throwing you under the bus, and you have to figure out a way to destroy these aliens. I always thought that was screwed up. But in the series, it really helps to define him as a character. And um, it, it's, it's just one of those really fun series where, you know, uh, as the series goes on, Guy King uh, continues to elevate in power, they continue to create new uh, ways to defeat the aliens, but just like anything else, it, it's, it's, we found out later that you know not all the aliens are, are, uh, are evil, and they're just trying to survive. So as a story, unfortunately, just like all the other um, Jim Terry productions, they weren't able to actually get the uh, full episode list from Japan. Uh, they were only really able to produce about 26 episodes. Um, but what we got here was a great taste of, of what Guy King would eventually become. And uh, as an anime fan, as a, as a mecha fan, you know, growing up with this stuff, it, you really couldn't get any better. You're waking up on, uh, on, a, on a weekday, just about to go to school, and you get to watch giant robots going at it with each other and learn a little bit of something as well about, uh, you know, the way they wrote it anyways, about the rights and wrongs of, of what they're doing in the show. Um, now, in the next episode, we're going to really cover the very last of the Force 5 series, which has a really special place in my heart, uh, mainly because it has, it's completely different from all the other, episodes, uh, all the other types of series, uh, mecha series uh, in, the, in the Force 5. 
uh, universe. Um, and that's uh, s um, the Space Coutures. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you uh, enjoy the series so far. Uh, please leave a comment below. Uh, tell me how I'm doing. If uh, there's something I should change. If you like the format, um, you know, I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, yeah, we'll catch you next time. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching guys. Always, if you like what I'm doing, please hit that like button and subscribe for more reviews. Let me know if you agree or disagree with my opinions, and if you have some other suggestions for reviews, let me know in the comments section below.